Hey guys, Waffle Doctor 87 here, and I have never played this game before. So welcome to the first episode of my series of Let's Play Super Metroid. Nineteen ninety four. Nintendo presents Metroid Three Super Metroid. What am I doing here? I have to actually use the A button. So my shot to Y, my jump to B, my dash can be C or A, sure. Item select, sure. Angle up, right shift, angle down, left shift. Here we are. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Here we go. In-game voice for one of the first times ever. I first battled with the Metroids on planet Zebes. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Now we get a flashback to... Either the first Metroid or Metroid 2 Return of Samus. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which after hatching, followed me like a confused child. This is definitely Metroid 2 though. SR388 is only in that game to my knowledge, Planet Zebes is where everything else takes place essentially. Besides, I think some of the Metroid Prime games take place on other planets. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Cirrus so the scientists could study its energy production qualities. Okay, the only part of this game I ever played before is the small part that you can reach in the Masterpiece and Brawl. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. What's this music? <sighs> wow. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah Station was under attack. Space Colony. I actually really should set my select to some set more sensible key, like C. Okay, so we've got jump, we got shoot, we've got I have no items to select, so. A and Y didn't make spin nothing. You can hold down to mode rapid fire? Neat. Okay, I am down to holding L. I am up to holding R. Alright. If I'm moving sideways, I'll flip jump. Yeah, so I'm going to this game essentially blind. Oh, I can hold A to move faster, okay. I feel like, really, really, like, I don't know if it's just me being used to Mario games or some lot, but okay, I got an on pump. <laughs> Rapidly mashing L and R makes you move slightly faster for some reason. Oh, hey, we found the Metroid hatchling. We won the game, right? It's not gonna be that easily. Yeah, you can aim up and down by using pull up and the direct and the direction you're trying to fire too. 
So we want to get attacked by Red Lair, because this is not a winnable fight. He can't be damaged any other way. That's what, what I remember. That's one thing I remember from watching speedruns at HDQ. Wow, he just threw me to the side for some reason. Self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. Oh boy! Oh boy, explosions are happening. Let's avoid the dust puffs. They don't actually do damage to me, but they knock me back and make, make this take longer. This is by no means a 100% run, or a, or a low percent run, or a, a speed run of any kind. This is just a blind playthrough of a, a game that I've wanted to experience for a long time. Because it's essentially blasphemy that I've never played this game, according to many people. Planet Zebus. Alright, now that we just get the series station. We arrive on Planet Zebus. Mmm, ominous. Let's go this way. Well, I can't yet. Okay. Can I wall jump at this game? There we go. Let's see if I can wall jump up there. Me! Is there anything up here for me? Nah, it's not gonna be that easy to get collectibles in this game. I can tell. Yeah, I'm gonna stop fiddling around up there and get on to what we probably really need to do, which is go this way. Gotta get those map squares. Oh yeah, right, you have to shoot doors to open them in this game. Well, shooting those isn't gonna do anything. And I don't have to morph ball yet, so I can't go down here. My experience with the Metroid series is limited to basically... a very small amount of diddling around with the, the game genie and the original NES Metroid, and the demo from Ball, Brawl and watching speedruns. And I can open that door, but I can't get to it. I can't- I can open this door, but this one requires, what, five missiles are for the red doors? Or pink, actually? But the game wants to call them red, so I'll just- You can fire downward while jumping, just like Hantra. And we've entered the part that's basically NES Torian, alright? You see, I know stuff about this game, there's not much stuff. Like, this is where the original escape sequence happens. You have to jump up that shaft in like 999 frames or something like that. You see, I know something about this game. I also know how to beat Mother Brand. I also know that if you hold down all four buttons and L and R and it's every it's all four face buttons plus L and R while entering the battle against the Golden Torizo in Norfair, you'll you'll, you'll get you'll get everything. For some reason. And why well, can't my try crawl? <laughs> okay, no, I'm not gonna make that joke. Even though I literally just did. Oh man, ball jumping off that face just made it shake. That was creepy. And morph ball get. Except it's called the morphing ball in this game because you know reasons. Also, yes, you can morph in midair in this game. That, that's different than Metroid, I think. Hey, can I mock ball? I, I remember that mock balling is a thing, but how do I do it again? I dash, jump, and then morph right when I hit the ground or something. Oh, 
Oh yeah, lag spikes, those still exist. Did I just mock ball? Is this like the normal speed? I'm not a speedrunner, I'm just gonna try to practice the speedrun technique. Okay, I'll, I'll stop trying to mock ball, because there's no point in doing it right here anyway. It'll literally just be for shenanigans. Can't do anything here, because these. Oh, wait, I can. Not anything helpful necessarily, right? That's the only way I can go, never mind. I need missiles to go the other way. And are these missiles? Those are, in fact, the first missile pack of the game. Cool. Also, yes, <laughs> due to my controls, X is Y instead of X being X. I don't know why. Can I morph ball into that? Can I do anything in this room besides what I just did? I don't, I don't have bombs yet, but let's just try shooting the floor until something, something happens. Because I know this is a type of game where you want to search for everything. It's literally half of what why people call things Metroidvanias. How do I find missiles again? Oh, I tap select repeatedly until I get to the one I want. That makes sense. So. Ah. Bomb blast that door with five missiles to proceed. We've been spotted! I haven't remember there was being something else in this room that I can't get right now because it requires, I think, power bombs? Man, those searchlights are kind of creepy. I don't know, something about them just kind of doesn't quite jive with me. So let's find more doors that are purple. So, uh, they're not purple. There are no purple doors in this game. I think there may be some in other games, but there's no purple doors in this game. Pink doors, however, exist, and currently we're going to go try to find some. Oh, wait. I think the music, like, everything's alive now. Yep, space pirates. I think those are space pirates, but they, I could be wrong. Oh no, I got hit for the first time in the game. Thankfully, that enemy dropped a health pickup. Here we go, health. Boop. They die in a single shot. Oh, so that door only opens once everything else in the room is dead. So let's climb old Torian. Hmm, I love this. Because this game's atmosphere. Whoops. Well, I, would, I just tried to wall jump, and it didn't work. It literally sent me all the way back to the bottom. I should probably not try to... Even though I know there's one room later in the game where you're forced to wall jump. Also, by the way, I'm sorry everyone who watches HGDQ, but this is a Save the Animals run, if I can figure out what how exactly to do that. Am I very good at this type of game? No. Have I ever played it before? So, also no. Do I have an excuse? Due to that, those combined reasons, yes. Let's see, my main experience with playing as um, Samus is Super Mario Crossover, where Samus and Ryu are the two characters I play as the most. I'm spending way too much time climbing this shaft. That took me almost two minutes, I think. Okay, here's Zoomers, I think those are. They're an enemy in SMBX, that's why I remember that they exist. So, select X, 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 X. Or Y, actually. Because I set my controls, so that's Y instead. Oh, hey, look, flies. Can, I, can they hurt me? Yes, they can hurt me. Also, is that a Rio? Is that what the enemy's called? No, Rio. Yeah, I, I think that's a Rio. It could be a. No, Screes are the ones that fly down and then explode. I opened the door without even knowing it existed. Oh, hey, look, a health station. Those exist. Oh wait, the map! So now I have a map of Brinstar.
Neat. Well, I'll go left from here then. Help! Please stop! Wow, I just used a lot of health to take those enemies out for some reason. My aim is not exactly the best. Oh wow, I got a lot of health from those two. I'm gonna have to set my run key to something besides A, because this is like kind of ridiculous actually. Oh, I haven't gone this way yet? Right. Let's go this way then. There's a save room above me or something. Hey look, faces. Wait, do I need the bombs for this? Apparently, okay. So where are the bombs? Well, my item map tells me where stuff is. So, I go up the rest of the shaft, then right, and then a bit down. Okay. Die zoomer, die zoomer. Okay, if you're just gonna get stabbed my way, that's fine too, but I'd rather you die. Ah! I can go this way, I haven't gone this way yet. This is the save room. Okay. I, I, I was just finagling that, because I keep forgetting that, like, the way this game works. I have to keep hitting A for stuff. So let's save the game here. And this is a good enough place to end the episode, I'd say. So let's do that. See you guys next time.